Hey guys, welcome to 2.0. This is um, Monk playing. Um, there's a lot of change in 2.0. The main part is um, life skills should I use? Um, nerf to the ground. So whereas before we can just run around MP10, screwing everything and staying alive, tanking with life steal, we can't do that anymore. Um, there's a change to life steal. Um, there's an equation. Let me show you guys. Life steal has a multiplier of 0.110x. 0.10x. Um, Basically, that just lowers down your life steal, and uh, you can't rely on it anymore. What you need right now is uh, life per hit. Life per hit, and this is what this build is going to be based around. So you can still tank and survive. And one of one of the really good thing about the this patch is the Paragon points. Um, now you can spend points that you built up before from your paragon level and just spend it on stuff that you that you're missing or you want to advance in. Um, for me, I, I need vitality and offensive. Uh, this is key point. You definitely want to spend all your points in attack speed because remember, right now you're relying on life per hit. So the faster you hit, the more life you get. That's it. Um, defense, I, I just spent it all on resist. And utility, uh, oh, of course, definitely, this is the main part. Spend it on life on hits. So we gain more life. The good thing about um, these points is, uh, oh, one, one key note is that you can reset these points whenever you want. So they're not permanent, don't worry. So you just press reset, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pick life on hit, all of it, all in. Offensive, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna spend it all on attack speed. Set. Now my skills. Basically, um, these these don't matter. What matters most is the mantra of evasion. You want to pick backlash. So every enemy that you hit is gonna. Anyway, uh, basically, you're just gonna create this burst of flame to all the enemies around you, and just you just constantly keep hitting them. Remember, you have to keep refreshing it every um, three seconds. Yeah, three seconds. So you have that buff. Yeah. So you, um, the more enemies around you, the more chance you're gonna create this backlash flame, which hit enemies around you. So you can regenerate life, life on hit. Okay. And you also need sweeping wind. Really cool thing about this sweeping wind is um, you have the firestorm now, so you're gonna generate this firestorm around you, and it's gonna keep constantly hitting stuff around you as well, so you stay alive again. So you need this, and everything else you can just probably stay the same with your playstyle. Those mantra vibration and um and sweeping wind is the main part. Uh, I like to use temper rush so in, so I can get out of uh, nasty situations, you know, like looting and stuff. And I like exploding palm too because I can just land them somewhere and and then um, my buffs are gonna, are gonna kill them and once they die they explode. Now the difficulty level there's a big change to that. Um, there's no MP10 or 1 anymore, it's called Torment. It's Torment 1 to 6. So basically, um, Torment 3, we call it T3, is um, equivalent to MP10. Um, that's what the community agreed on. I mean, it's just what it feels like. You'll notice um, 
T T3 is gonna be the most similar to MP10. Well, our fun never ceases. Um, even though T3 is equivalent to MP10, um, the experience gain is pretty good. I mean, you gain experience a lot faster for some, some odd reason, I don't know. Maybe T3 is actually MP12, I don't know. But, um... So you, you see these, uh, light bulbs? You gotta avoid them, those are new builds. That ability is not yet recharged. I don't have enough spirit. Your strength fails! I must wait to use that ability. Not enough spirit. No, I die. Um, I get I have three options: revive at corpse, which is the current location; revive at last checkpoint, which is you know it's always somewhere else that you don't want to; and revive in town, which I like the most. I mean, uh, revive as corpse is best when you're in, in group play. So I'm gonna go to town right now, and that's pretty much it. Um, this app. Um, this is the day after patch. Last night I played for eight hours, and with my monk friends, and and, and we 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 sort of just like corner to this build um, because we need life on head to survive and tank. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Um, you can check out my other class, and um, there's also one thing. Um, I noticed um, the stuff in my auction house were gone before the patch. I mean, uh, before the patch are gone now, so um, they're nowhere to be found. I noticed a lot of my friends are having the same issue. So if you guys, I, I complained to the, I opened a ticket to Blizzard and they, they just uh, said they were unaware of this situation. So if you guys are having the same problem, um, simply just comment here and I'll forward it to Blizzard as a Oh, so they listen to us and hopefully we can get our items back. Alright, thanks. Hope you liked my video.